Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter a SharePoint person or group column records. This is my SharePoint. The list is called AJ list. Let's go and inspect the columns. Under the list settings, you can see the columns. And this is the column I'm after, assigned to person or group. As you can see here, assign space to. So to get the actual scheme name for filtering the records, you need to click on the column name. At the end of the URL, you can see here, assign underscore x0020 underscore 2. The column name you are seeing here is the display name. So to filter, we need to use the actual scheme name. Okay. So let's go back to Power Automate. Here I'm using a manual trigger. The next step is the SharePoint connector. Here it is. I'm after get items to filtering the records and setting the site address. Next, we need to set our filter queries. So the filter query we are after is that scheme name is equal to here I am going to filter against the, the email. So here it is. So the scheme name slash email, I'll come back to that later in this video about why I'm using slash email and then is equal to Raj under uh, at spin spinhop.com. Okay. So next I'm going to add a compose. And uh, just map that assigned to. Okay. So let's run this flow now. Okay. So I'm after that particular email. I know there are two records here um, uh, for that. So I'm expecting here the first record and the, uh, the, the last one. There are two records against that email associated with it. That's, it looks like the flow ran successfully. So under the apply to each, as you can see here, it got two records, one of two. Click on the next, you can see two of two, okay? And if I expand the compose, go to the first one, you can see here, my email has been filtered against that. The next one, again, it shows that the same email. So it's retrieved two records successfully. Okay, so let's come back to that assigned to um, um, a person group column. So Power Automate returns that as a JSON um, format. As you can see here, it returns, it returns uh, that field returns quite a lot of information here, such as um, uh, display name, email, picture, department, uh, job title, etc. Okay, so to filter against a particular email, uh, what I did is I put the scheme name slash email but make sure you should put e email as e and m as capital actually otherwise this won't work and i still don't know how i can find the actual scheme name from um, from a official documentation um, so um, you know so just to make sure that capital e uh, e and m you should use it i try to um, uh, um, filter the same way as the display name uh, but I'm getting an error actually for that. So um, I really don't know what's the scheme name to use for the display name, claims or picture or department or job title. Um, in case if I find it later, I will definitely put another video about it. So currently this, this um, um, video is purely focusing on how to filter the person or group uh, filtered by email. So let's go back to the Power Automate again. As you can see here, I set the filter query as the scheme name, which we found, and then slash, then E and M as capital here, email is equal to the email you are after. Thank you for watching.